You know what you don't see much of anymore is the uh, old school Let's Plays of Minecraft. And I've been searching and searching and searching to find some sort of Let's Play that's just like the old school ways where it's very slow. It doesn't include mega meta builds and like farms and everything with redstone contraptions and everything. So I figured that I've had an itch to do it and feel like that there should be more of the old school Let's Plays out there. And I figured why not give it a shot. I have taken a couple of times to figure out a seed. I found a seed that I want to play with. Starts off with a few of my favorite biomes around us. Uh, jungle for the bamboo and the vines for th off the jungle woods and the jungle trap doors and everything. A dark oak. There's also a woodland mansion nearby. And we spawn right outside of a plains village. And the plains area actually is very decent looking to where I got some inspiration on building like a village and everything. Which I want to do like a slow roll of slowly building some sort of town and everything so it took me a while to figure out this seed which i did a couple of game rules that i changed G updated the fire so i can build with fire got rid of the uh, pillager patrols and turned off raids okay now that we're in first things first is that we're going to just chop down some wood wood gathered Let's get ourselves a crafting table. Wooden pickaxe acquired. And let's see if there's any exposed stone over here. Stone pickaxe, stone axe, stone hoe, stone shovel, stone... So I'm going to leave the crafting table here to indicate this is where we spawned. Now that we got some wood, let's just take a quick look at this village here. It is, it is quite large. Let's see if uh, I can actually just steal a bed. Start taking out these torches. Potatoes. All right, we just got done uh, looting this village. Uh, this is so far what we've gotten for a haul. We got a bed, some gold, potatoes, hay bales. Did find a stone cutter, four emeralds, few apples, quite a bit of hay bales. So we're pretty much set. So I'm going to set up a little base camp right here. Base camp complete. Now let's talk about what's going on in this world. I noticed that this area over here is actually really really beautiful the landscaping is pretty good just a little bit of touches up that we're gonna have to do throughout the time being it will eventually be turned into like some sort of gigantic village as you will to along to the extent of like my own creation of a village and everything creating a story as we go along for the lore of this and whatnot these villagers don't need these animal pens there's nothing in here to keep them occupied with we'll make our own animal farms our first goal for tonight is to get some villagers safely secure, <coughs> trapped. Most villagers have been secured, trapped. First goal, get all the villagers safely secured, trapped inside of their homes it's for future plans for farming, villager breeding, so that way we can have our own 
villager trading hall set up one day. Goal number two. Let's get some cows into the pens. Villagers captured. Time to start breeding them. One day our cow empire will grow. Goal number two. Let's get down in some of these caves that pop up right here throughout the ground and let's get some iron, some coal, and some cobblestone so that way eventually we can actually start building and having resources. Ah. Not again. And again. Hey, look at Geode. <gasps> Glow squids. Hey, look, iron. And again. Good morning, Mr. Gollum. Okay, we're quite not ready to be caving. Well, I didn't recover my sword or my shovel. That's okay, because it was just stone. But we did get some iron, so let's get that going. Bucket acquired. Let's fill it up with water. And let's do a little bit of a time lapse of me planting a crop field. Crop field is almost complete. We got some potatoes and we got wheat growing and did it in rows. Uh, potato, wheat, potato, wheat, so on and so forth. So eventually we'll be able to have all kinds of seeds and make gigantic fields of crops of all that you can imagine. Now we're really rocking. We got at least somewhat bit of iron. We got a shield and we got the bucket. What else could you ask for? All right, I know that uh, right over behind me in this general direction that there are some spruce wood. So we're going to go and collect some spruce and hopefully get enough saplings. And there's also some dark oak as well. We'll get some saplings and get those back over here and we'll start growing our own little tree farm.
wood gathering has completed. We went through an axe and a half and just been waiting for the leaves to despawn so we can gather up some saplings, which we have a grand total of 37 and we have nine dark oak saplings. So let's get on back over to the base. We've got ourselves a little tree farm set up here. We got our spruce wood over there. We got some dark oak and we got some oak trees right here. Next thing that I want to do is I want to head off into this direction here because I know that there's a jungle over in this direction with some bamboo, which I'd like to get my hands on some jungle saplings, cocoa beans, possibly some melons, and some bamboo. Um, Ended up coming across a plains, another plains village, just barely over there by the jungle biome and savannah biome, and on top of that, a savannah biome village as well. So we got... Quite a, collected quite a bit of sugar cane. We also got some bamboo, which is growing right over my head, as you can see. Or can you not see? Oh, yep. Yep, you can see it. Yeah, let me show you the goodies that I got from that little little adventure. Came across some uh, brewing stand, blast furnace. We did get some melons, jungle saplings. We got some beetroot. We even stumbled upon some carrots, more potatoes, a couple of stone cutters, clay composters, cauldrons, a uh, smithing table, a uh, pot. You know, we got quite a bit of stations that we don't have to worry about, like actually getting the resources to craft it, especially early on in this game. Uh, came across a couple of surface iron and coal. Um, but yeah, that pretty much completed that. So I'm going to plant these acacias and jungle saplings. Uh, also came across some leather armor just to kind of like fill out the rest of our armor so we had somewhat of protection. But yeah. All right, we got ourselves a little situated here. We got some storage set to separate all of our items into the basic stone, dirt related stuff, mob loot, wood related, our valuables slash workstations, and our croppage slash food related stuff. Also planted down some melons and pumpkins. Our wheat, potato, beetroot, and carrot field are growing immensely. Cows are starting to grow up and everything. Our bamboo is sprouting. Dark oak is growing. Our oak trees are growing, waiting on sugarcane and spruce. And I think what our goal is for the next episode is to establish a villager breeder and start getting on with our little empire here of taking over the world with emeralds. See you in the next episode.